All right, so we're going to get into the first part of section lesson 5.2. Lesson 5.2. Um, and we're going to talk about side angle side. Side angle angle side uh, congruence. Congruence. And after this, hopefully, you understand congruence. Hopefully you understand uh, how you can use a uh, side angle side relationship of two different triangles to prove that two triangles are congruent. Okay, so I got a glare from my from this, so maybe I can turn off my light over here and get rid of the glare. It's a little better, I guess. Okay, so side angle side congruence. So what this says, if if I have two, if two sides, sides, and and the angle in between those two sides, two sides. Uh, of one triangle, triangle, are congruent, congruent to the corresponding, corresponding angles on another, another triangle, then those triangles are congruent. All right, so what I mean by uh, two side, two triangle or two angles and the angle in between those two triangles, right? So that means like I have a, a triangle like this one, right, I guess, and then like this angle this, this side, this side, this side, and that angle, right, is the same thing as, you know, uh, this side, this side, and that angle, right? So it's not like this side, this side, and that angle. That's that's no good. That's no good, right? So, um, <clears throat> so let's give, uh, like, an example here. Let's show what I mean by that. Okay, so... Side angle side congruence postulate. Let's put it to action. Okay, so let's let's do some like kind of funky triangle here to, to prove to prove some stuff. Okay, so let's do a let's do a triangle like this. Get out of here, rolling pen thing. All right, so we have a triangle. Let's make it like a short edge like that. And like a long edge, like this, and then like a, and then like another long edge like this. That's kind of like a weird triangle, kinda. Okay, not super weird, but it's still a triangle. Okay, and then let's say that I have, you know, this angle. I know. Okay, and uh, I know this side. And I know this side, so I'm going to use these two sides, and this, and this angle. I hope that's not 90 degrees. No, it's not quite 90 degrees. I'm going to use this, and yeah, and these two sides to make the same triangle over here to draw a congruent triangle, right? And you, and similarly, you can recognize or know that two side, two sides, and then an angle are the same by measuring or whatever um, or being told that they are the same and uh, say yep because those are the same then the triangles are identical or not identical congruent and we'll say that this triangle is named uh, you know x y x y and z this triangle this is triangle 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 x y z triangle triangle X, Y, Z, 
All right, so I know that I'm going to say that that uh, line segment, line segment, line segment x y equals line segment x y equals. I'm going to go end to end here in centimeters. End to end here. Now, you know, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try to be smart here and not mark up my stuff so much. I'm gonna use this to mark how, how long it is. Boop. It's a little bit harder to use, maybe. Okay, and then I'm gonna measure that on this. And that is like 10.5 centimeters. That is 10.5 centimeters. Okay, 10.5 centimeters. 10.5 centimeters. And then Z to Y. So this is my single hash mark. That's my single hash mark. My double hash mark line is Z to Y. Right, my Z to Y. It's going to be equal to. It's going to be equal to. Z to y is going to be equal to six point two centimeters. Six point two centimeters. And then I need my angle. My angle here. I'm going to measure my angle by placing the button on the vertice and making sure that my oh man, it's hard to see when that thing is button on the vertice and making sure that this black line here, that this black line right here, is riding on or as close to parallel with this line right here. Okay, and then, oh, I wanna go back, back. Then I read the angle. I read the angle right here on the top part of this. So it looks like it's about 84 degrees. 84 degrees. So my angle Z, angle Z equals 84 degrees. All right, so I have my side, my angle, and my side. So I have my side of X, Z, X, Z, and X, Y, and my side, angle, side. All right, so now I need to make, I'm gonna make a triangle, let's see, triangle X, Y, Z. And I'm gonna make a congruent to triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. So I need to make A and C um, congruent to X and Y, or X and Z, A and, you know, so, X and Z, and I need to make uh, A and B congruent to X and Y. So let me go ahead and do that. So I need to make, like I said, A and C, A and C uh, equal 10.5 centimeters. I need to make, I need to make, uh, and this is gonna be my single hash mark, my single hash mark. I need to make my double hash mark the uh, same as Y and Z, right? It's going to be the same as uh, Z and Y, right? Z and Y, same thing as Y and Z, and that's going to be 6.2. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be my B and C, B and C, and that's going to be eight, 6.2. 6.2 centimeters, and then my Z is gonna be the same as my C, my C uh, angle.
angle, and it's going to be 84 degrees. Okay, so let me go ahead and start that. All right, so here we go. I'm going to make, oh, you know, an angle. I'll try to make it as close to, to the, uh, the. It was 6.4 degrees. I'm trying not to mark up my thing too much. Get it pretty close to my initial slope, and it was 6 BC. BC is going to be my ZY. I'm going to make it 6.2 centimeters. 6.2 centimeters. Can I zoom in? Make it look like it's 6.2. Centimeters. Okay, makes a little smeary. That's all right. And my next one is going to be 10.5 centimeters, but I needed to have it at an angle. So first, I need to take this guy, right? And I probably have like a little card to send it off in the right direction. Just slip underneath there and send it off in the right direction. And it was like 84. So it was like, make sure it's nice and you can't see that at all. Because that's in the way. Uh, man, let me slide it. Okay. So 84. All right, make sure that black line is right there. And I'm going to put this here right at like 84. Like right. Right, right there, right there at 84. And just give me a guide mark. And then this is going to become, that's going to be off the screen. That's going to be off the screen. That's going to be at 10. Yeah, that's going to be way off. I'm going to have to move that 10 down. i got to start over because that's going to put me off the thing. So this is going to be 6. This was 6.2 centimeters, so I'm going to move this way down here, 6.2 centimeters. Okay. Oh, crap. 6.2 centimeters. Six point two. Okay, and then this at 84 degrees. Take this here, 84. black line lines up with my line put it at about 84 right about there right there on the dot about 84 okay and now from there it should reach 10 centimeters so it was 10.5 so 10 Point five centimeters. Make sure I intersect with my line. Okay, and then the remaining line should should connect. And it doesn't matter how long it is because I have my angle and my side. And it should be, it should match pretty closely. All right, so that should be pretty close to my two angles. All right, so I'm going to grab some patty paper here and see how close I got with my... How congruent they are. So I got my patty paper here, and I got. I'm gonna draw my triangle, my original triangle on here. And let's see how close I got. I got pretty close. All right. So you can see that those triangles are congruent. Because of the side, I use the side, the angle, and the side. I use the side, the angle, and the side to make 
this congruent triangle, um, this angle congruent with this triangle, just by using the two sides surrounded, or this angle surrounded by two congruent sides. Okay, so two congruent sides surrounding an angle. Okay, and I was able to make this congruent side. And also, if I had, if I had two, and conversely, if I had two, if I had two triangles, right, like this, let me erase some of this stuff. And I, and this one was, this one was a. Uh, a, B, C, C, right? If I had two triangles like this, right, I would be able to say that because this, because AC and XZ are congruent, and ZY and CB are congruent, and they surround an angle that C and Z are congruent because of the side angle side side angle side postulate you can say that triangle a b c triangle x z, x y z are congruent as long as the vertices are in the same order right you could say triangle a c b is congruent to triangle triangle uh, x z y you know, it doesn't matter what order you put the letters in, as long as the letters are in the same order for the same triangles, for the same tri for the triangles, right? You could not say triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle X, Z, Y. That would be false. That's false, right? They have to be A, A B, C, or X, Y, or, or uh, X, Y, Z, right? So that's the side angle side. They got to be served the two sides need to be surrounding the angle. Hope that helps.